all want to look youthful, perfect, flawless. We all want good skin, but knowing what to put on the outside really starts from the inside. And joining us this morning once again is Dr. Joel Cohn with About Skin Dermatology to talk about inner beauty that a lot of us often don't always think about. Nice to see you this morning. Good morning. So we pay so much attention about what we fuel just for our everyday lives, but what you put inside also can impact your skin. You know, the, the skin can really be a reflection of what's going on inside your body. And many people feel that what you actually ingest in your body can, can have manifestations in the skin. So antioxidants are really a category of products that have a lot of interest right now. And antioxidants are products like um, that can be found in almonds and things like that. And they quench free radicals or products that, that can be harmful to the skin. So I'm sure your patients always ask you, Dr. Cohn, is there, is there one thing I should eat? And the antioxidants, I have a feeling, top the list? Antioxidants are certainly at the top of the list, and many people get it from supplements as well. And you have some supplements there, so is that something you can, just, you can take every day, or how, how should you handle that? You know, many people, including myself, take supplements every day, but there are other things that really we need to keep in mind. There's a very new study that came out this week out of uh, Scotland that actually looked at fair complected population and looked at the folks who ate three doses or three servings of fresh fruits and vegetables. And it was found that fresh fruits and vegetables add color to the face, and that was actually something that was found to be healthy and perceived as healthy. And it turns out that beta carotene, which is found in carrots, right. uh, was attributed to that, and lycopenes, which is found in tomatoes as well. Yeah, it seems so simple, but really, you are what you eat. I mean, not only internally, but externally as well. Right. You know, and there, there's other things. Uh, omega fatty acids have gotten a lot of attention recently, and omega fatty acids many of us get in supplements. It's also found in uh, fishes like salmon and sardines. It can be found in flaxseed as well. Um, and omega fatty acids help restore the lipid barrier of the skin. So when people look dried out and have lots of fine lines and wrinkles, fatty acids actually can be helpful. There was actually a very interesting study that was published last month out of Harvard about women who drank three cups of coffee a day actually had 20% less incidence of basal cell carcinoma, the most common type of skin cancer. And carrots, again, uh, are an area of t attention, in particular vitamin A, may be actually helpful in reducing skin cancer rates as well. And real quickly, in the last 10 seconds we have, any foods to avoid altogether? You know, there's probably more myth than fact in this category, but heavily processed foods can be harmful to the skin and, and foods high in saturated fats. But really nothing replaces a healthy lifestyle with lots of fruits and vegetables and exercise and sunscreen and really a good skincare regimen. That, that is universal. All right, Dr. Cohn, thanks very much. We should let people know if you have any questions or would like more information about the segment, just go to the denverchannel.com, click on our big red TV button, and we'll link you to Dr. Cohn's website. Thanks very much.